Welcome to the Shortwave Radio channel and uh, just wanted to um, answer a couple of questions, people asking me questions on this uh, device, which is the uh, HF receiver multi-coupler that I've received uh, from Streetsburg Engineering. And uh, so a lot of people are asking questions exactly what does it do and and for those that know what it does, um, wondering about how you know the quality and and how it um, you know, how it works. So a uh, multi-coupler is there to share one antenna with several radios. Uh, Streetsburg Engineering does have a few models. They have a two port, four port. I think the other one's a six or eight port. Um, and basically, depending on the number of receivers you have, you can uh, use different, um, you know, models that they have. This is a low loss or pretty much zero loss, um, and they do mention zero loss in their instructions of uh, what the antenna is giving out as a signal shared with other radios. Uh, the reason you use a multi-coupler like this is also because if you, you know, I often shared antennas, but by a manual way with sharing, you know, just basically plugging in the cables together to have the same antenna uh, at the end. Um, the problem with that, uh, you know, it works up to a certain point, but the problem with sharing it like that is that there's interaction between the receivers and sometimes a lot of interaction. Sometimes one radio can actually induce noise in another and so on. So this one, so using a multi-coupler fixes that because here what happens is that each port, so at the bottom, the four connectors you see there, are right now they are connected to four different radios. So on J1, the one on the left, I have the ICOM ICR 8500. J2 is the Yesu FT450. J3 is my Texan PL 990X, and J4 is my uh, SDR Play RSPDX. So they all are connected right now, and there's no interaction between any of them. Uh, these ports are isolated, so that means that each port is its own little thing and does not interfere with the other ones. So that means no interaction between receivers. Um, it is powered on the left side. You see there's a little 12 volt power adapter connected to it uh, That's because this is an active multi-coupler. So um, it does have some uh, form of amplification in it The antenna input of course, I have the MLA 30. This is what's in this uh, antenna input uh, there is the um, is the um, MLA 30 antenna you can plug in any antenna you want. Uh, one thing to be very, very, very cautious here, this is not and should not, and you really don't, it's important not to do this, not to transmit any signal in here. Transceivers, if you have a transceiver, make sure that it doesn't uh, you know, send a signal because you're gonna blow up this thing. It's not meant for a direct signal from a transceiver or a CB radio and so on. So you got to be very careful with this. Um, it seems to be quite good. Uh, when I disconnect the uh, antenna input, the receiver's fault is zero noise, uh, like there's pretty much the same as if there was nothing connected to the radio directly in the input. So it seems to be very good quality. It's made of metal, so it's a metal enclosure. And uh, the power supply is included. It's a linear, little linear power supply. It's not a uh, switching because they want to make sure that it doesn't have or doesn't create too much noise in it. Uh, and uh, so I've started using it. I've uh, purchased a set of cables and I actually show that in a separate video on the, uh, on, on the channel today because I think some of you might be interested to know that Amazon has a pretty wide range of cables of all sorts and that uh, just the, the the only thing you need to know is what are the names of the connectors at each end and you'd be surprised at all the cables that you can get so uh, this is cool and now I have uh, four radios connected and uh, you know I look at the four ports to use right now and I'm like wow I could have almost purchased a six port because 
I'm starting to notice that I might need to, because I will probably have to play a little bit in disconnecting one and reconnecting another and stuff like that. But uh, still, it's working great. Uh, I'll be testing this today, and you guys will be sh seeing the uh, the performance, and and you know I will be showing uh, several receivers together working with some signals to uh, show you how well this actually shares the uh, signals among the radios. Uh, it's a 500 kilohertz to 50 megahertz multi-coupler. It says there on the top, and so uh, pretty cool. I'm happy to have this little device. And it seems to do a pretty good job from the first couple of hours that it's plugged in right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.